Hello guys, welcome to another video of DAS subject entire notes, complete notes. So, so in the last video, I have discussed about first part of the first unit. It's nothing but about uh, uh, basics of algorithms, space complexity, time complexity, and continued about uh, asymptotic notations. So, in this video, I'm going to tell about uh, divide and conquer method. What is mean by divide and conquer method, and what are the applications inside the divide and conquer method? So, see, let us see the basic. Uh, definition of divide and conquer method so uh, divide and conquer method this is a problem solving algorithm strategy so uh, here this is a problem solving algorithm strategy which is you which is performed as a uh, splitting the complex problem into the small problems and uh, after it combines the entire solutions of the each and every uh, sub sub programs see see here let us see a definition it is a it is a problem solving algorithm strategy in this method we divide a big problem into a sub, -pro sub problems solve each problem individually so here we solve the each and every problem individually it's nothing but sub program so uh, at last we combine and combine the solutions together entire this sub program solutions we combine together and uh, forms a single solution so this is completely the concept of divide and conquer method. Now let us see an algorithm for divide and conquer method. A small example. See here, DCA is nothing but is it is a function. I have created a function in that if small program, if uh, the given prob, this is p is nothing but. So this p is nothing but it is a problem. So uh, I took p as a problem. If it is a small problem, it directly it directly solves the that small problem. If not, if else, it divide the p into small small p one, p two, p p three like that. P of p n uh, up to p n. Uh, this each and every p is as a small problem. This is nothing but it is a small problem. Individually, it is a small problem. This big p is divided into a number of small p's, and where apply DC uh, D DAC DAC is nothing but divide and conquer method where this function goes here and take each and each individual p as a uh, individual as a p then it uh, then it divides this uh, individual p into sub sub parts if it is a small program then it directly solves the uh, entire solution if this p is a small solution it directly uh, solves the pro uh, solves the uh, problem if not it again goes to else else condition and it divides the that uh, p p is nothing but it is a problem into it individual uh, sub programs and individual individually solves the each and every sub program see it is a recursion function where uh, a sub program or a, a big program is divided into uh, multiple small programs if the divided small program is a big program or it is a big program and it is also divided into number of again uh, small 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 programs so like this the divide and conquer method was works and uh, let us see the applications of and see here i forgot to say that now the individual solutions of the each and every program was combined to, uh, together and forms a single solution now coming to application of this uh, divide and conquer method in this we have binary search quick sort merge sort and at last we have matrix multiplication strange matrix multiplication so uh, individually we see the each and every application in this topic so in this video i completely cover about uh, binary search see binary search algorithm see in this uh, in this video i am also going to cover uh, completely about binary search algorithm so it is a type of or it is a application of divide and conquer method see here binary search is a application of divide and conquer method so binary search is a fast searching algorithm with runtime complexity of uh, this is o this zero of log n see here the binary search is a fastest searching algorithm with runtime complexity or it is used to it is mainly implemented in the runtime 
run time it is not in execution time it is uh, completely of run time so it is discovered to overcome the limitations of linear search see what is mean by linear search here if we take linear search as an example see here we take 1 2 3 4 5 6 see if it is a linear search if we need to uh, simply search one by one one element of one element we need to check entire element until the key element finds see if we need a six if we need six we need to find each and every element in in the particular array so in order to solve this problem when uh, in order to solve this problem this binary search algorithm was invented so uh, in this technique we uh, in this technique used a sorted array for searching an searching an element so in order to search an element we use a sorted array see if it is a sorted array it is easy, easy to uh, divide the array into parts and we need to find a particular algorithm so in that case uh, we need to sort an array so for example uh, by taking an example it uh, much clear to understand so here let us take an example coming to here example we have 5 9 17 32 sorry 23 50 uh, 23 25 45 59 63 71 and 89 are the uh, taken array uh, example of taken array so here first we need to divide the entire array into two parts and label it as a half label it as a first element is a start a start element and last element is end element and the middle element is called a mid uh, or mid variable so here the entire size of an array is 10 and we need to find the key element called 55 here key element we need to find is 55 first what to uh, what should we do now we need to divide the entire array into two parts that means the index of start and the index of end both if we add this both we we, we find or uh, we get a number or we get the entire size of an size of an array and then we should divide the entire array by 2 if in case we need uh, even even if uh, see here already we have an example right here now the mid value mid value is uh, nothing but we need to add the starting element and ending element sorry sorry the index of starting element that and the index of ending element it's nothing but start and end the mid equals to start plus start plus end by 2 that's nothing but index of start is 0 and index of end is 9 9 by 2 it's nothing but 4.5 we consider uh, only the numerical numbers not uh, fractional numbers that means it is 4 now here see here a of mid a of mid equals to a of 4 a of 4 value is 25 so now let us consider that the mid value the mid value is the value of mid is 25 the value of mid is 25 okay clear see now here and we have some conditions to be satisfied that it is they are not conditions they are algorithm it is a part of algorithm uh, while seeing uh, entire program you can easily understand what is what is what so here first we need to check whether the key element is equals to mid or not so here check here if the mid element is this key element key is 59 if mid element is equals to 59 no then fo uh, then follows the next condition what is here key element is less than mid then end equals to mid minus 1 or key equals to greater than m then start equals to mid plus 1 that is nothing but here we see this condition satisfies right now 59 is uh, greater than mid right so here see here 59 59 is greater than greater than mid mid value see here compare this mid value and key value it is greater than mid then divide this entire array into two parts and bring this start start pointer to the mid plus one, mid plus one mid plus one that means the the key element this is key element right 59 this key element does not find left side of the array is that clear see this is a sorted array right now see compared to sort now uh, comparing all the elements see if we uh, divide the element into two parts now if 25 is exist here 
then our key element is 59 that means the 59 will be present always right side of the array but not left side of the array so we completely ignores this left side this left side array it's nothing but it divided into two parts right so we need we need uh, we need to ignore the entire left side part then con continue with the entire this right side part that means it start become start this start pointer becomes see here uh, this start equals to 4 plus 1 it's nothing but 5 right now we need to take the start pointer from the from the index 5 to end of the uh, index that is nothing but 9 so in this way we continue uh, we continue until we find a key element now here in second condition this first part in this in the second part we have that now mid equals to start plus start plus end here we got start value is 5 no sorry sorry ah, start start index value is 5 and end index value is 9 so add these both then we get the mid value equals to 5 plus 9 by 2 that is nothing but 7 5 plus 9 is nothing but 14 14 by 2 is 7 so here the mid value equals to 7 the index that this is mid is nothing but it is an index value so the value of mid equals to value of 7 it's nothing but 6 63 here here this index value mid value is uh, mid value is 7 the value of 7 is 63 right now we need to compare that the 59 is equals to mid value or not see here 59 is less than mid 59 is less than mid value right so in this conditions we need to consider the second condition see here key value is mid key value is uh, less than mid so it is not key value is not equals to mid value so we should not consider this and key value is not greater than mid value so we need to consider this middle uh, this uh, second condition so if we say if we consider this, this second condition this entire array this 1 2 3 4 5 we need we have these five elements right so this entire array was divided into half half is nothing but this 7 up to here we need to divide so here if we divide here now see here end see here if k if uh, key is less than sorry if key is uh, less than mid we need uh, we need to change that end equals to mid minus 1 here here end end, end is here uh, at, at 9 index right so here we need to change that end equals to mid minus 1 what is the mid value mid mid is 7 so 7 minus 1 is 6 7 minus 1 is 6 so this uh, entire array was divided up to here and we need to consider only these two elements right so if we consider these two elements if we consider these two elements here now the starting index is 5 and the ending ending index is 6 so now we need to uh, follow the same conditions and same rules now divide the entire this sub array into two parts or this is the, uh, the sum of 5 and 6 the sum of 5 and 6 by 2 it's nothing but it's nothing but the com uh, there this uh, the sum of two the sum of start value and end value by 2 it's nothing but 5.5 .5. only we consider this numerical values that's nothing but 5 and now we check that if the mid mid a of mid equals to a of 5 that's nothing but 45 if 59 is greater than mid 59 is greater than mid so if greater than mid what to uh, what should we do here start equals to mid plus 1 okay now consider that see here is, what is here start value start is 5 what is the index of start start is 5 what is the index of uh, end is 6 see start equals to mid plus 1 what is here we need to find the mid mid is nothing but 5 so 5 plus 1 is nothing but 6 so here see here starting one mid plus 1 start equals to 6 now the starting and ending index values are same see here we need to find the mid value of this in this single element or this, this single index see mid equals to 
see mid equals to start plus end start plus end by 2 equals to that is nothing but 6 plus 6 by 2 it is 6 so mid equals to 6 here a of mid equals to a of 6 it's nothing but 59 where where it satisfies the first condition what is that key value k equals to mid if k equals to mid that consider the, as a the key element was found okay 59 is equals to mid now return the mid value so this is completely of completely about binary search see let us uh, see the entire program see, need to minimize the, i think it is clear to see see uh, not not completely but we need only this algorithm this algorithm see here <coughs> see first what what should we do mid mid equals to mid equals to start plus last by 2 don't confuse here last in the sense it is the end end value in this program i took the end variable as the last last variable so uh, see here a of mid a of mid is not equals to s s is nothing but it is a key value key here key key value here don't for, uh, don't confuse this s value is uh, see here a of mid is not equals to key so and uh, start less than or equals to last so up to this condition if s of a if key value this s is key this key value is greater than mid value last equals to that is nothing but end end equals to mid minus one if s if s it's nothing but it is a key value key value is greater than mid value then it is nothing but start equals to mid plus one and if see here see this if s equivalence to if s equivalence to mid then it satisfies that the key element was found see this is entire program if you want you write this entire program in your notes for best clarification so don't confuse by seeing this uh, entire program you can easily uh, you can easily understand by this only this uh, this three conditions which we applied here so this is not only in das object it is also very useful in uh, each and every programming language like uh, c python java so and this is this concept is this concept is uh, completely similar to each and every subject so this is all about a design and conquer method in binary search and in the next video let us see completely of uh, mudsart and quicksart okay and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you for watching